everyone welcome back to my channel learn with nikhil so in this video we have taken an another sum on sectional orthographic projection so here we have been given a three dimensional block in the direction of arrow x we have to find its sectional front view then the top view so the total distance in the front view is 75 mm plus 35 it is till the center of this circle then the forward is nothing but the radius of the outer circle that is 16 and here the distance is not giving we have assumed it 15 so the total distance is 141 mm then the height of the figure given is 50 mm so height is 50 and the depth of the figure is nothing but the radius or the diameter of the outer circle radius given is 22.5 so the total diameter will be 45 mm So in the question we have only asked the front view that is the sectional front view and the top view but i will draw the side view also so the total width in the front view we have measured that is 141 mm so for that we will first draw the axis so on the left the space should be 141 mm so there we can draw the front view so we have drawn the axis now in the question you can see it is the sectional front view in this cut in this direction the arrow aa or the line aa so it is cut or sliced from the center so this part the back side part is visible this front side is totally cut off this cylinder is half cut then the slant line is cut and then this part is cut so only the back side part is visible the front side of the section is totally cut off and the section lines will be here and here so here will be the section lines so the joining of the two circles there will be section lines so we'll start drawing the figure also few things keep in mind uh, it is only attached to the base on these two circles one circle and one semicircle now let's start with the figure first we'll draw mark the points this is 141 mm end point now the point where we have to draw the circle or the semicircle it is 15 mm apart so we have drawn that then this distance is nothing but the radius of the outer semicircle which is from the center that is 17.5 mm we have marked that then from the center only till the other center of the circle we have 75 mm and then from there it is 35 mm which we have calculated earlier and the remaining part is 16 mm that is the radius of the last semicircle we'll draw light lines through these points and we'll take it downwards also as later we have to draw the top view also now you can see the height this is 20 mm which is at the end of 141 mm so from here i'll draw a light line and the height of this block is 20 mm so this is 20 mm height so from the front view only visible the height then the inner distance is 15 mm till here so from top also it will be visible so this part we have drawn now this semicircle part will also look straight in the front view note we are drawing the sectional front view this is the center point as the radius of the smaller semicircle is 7.5 mm so we have taken that distance so this is the center line and this part is nothing but the semicircle from the front view which looks straight then this distance from the center the radius of the outer semicircle is 17.5 mm so this distance so from center 17.5 mm from the front view again this semicircle looks like a straight rectangular box so drawing it straight join this dark 
now this line is not dark until the end you can see we have this horizontal line this gap is 10 millimeter not given we'll assume it 10 millimeters so it is at the center of this line so from bottom 5 millimeters and from the top millimeters the center part remaining is 10 millimeter so this gap is of 10 millimeter now its horizontal straight line extension is till the bigger circle we'll draw that later part now we'll draw this cylinder its radius is 22.5 millimeter so from here on the left 22.5 millimeters will mark a point and same on the right side it will be first we will draw this part draw a light line here now this gap is also this line is above the 10 millimeter same height so we will draw this part dark So after this from here till the bottom extend it. Now the height of the cylinder is 50 millimeter. So from the bottom 50 millimeter will draw a dark line. And as you can see we have this slant line. We will join this directly from here till here. Now after the sectioned part. Only this part will be hashed as this part is cut. The inner circle is totally drilled so that part will be open. So in the sectional front view that part will be dark. This point which I have marked that is the radius of the inner circle that is 12.5 millimeter. So this line will be dark as after the section part the inner circle will be open and it will be visible. So only this part will be sectioned part. Now this inner circle as we have said the radius is 12.5 millimeter. So it will also be a cylindrical shape from the front view. So here also I am drawing a straight rectangular box. The distance on the other side the inner circle will also be the radius that is 12.5 millimeter. And for the outer circle will be 22.5 millimeter. So extend this line first. Now same like this. This is the inner circle which is visible. So we have drawn dark lines. Now the outer circle radius is 22.5 millimeter. So from the center 22.5 millimeter marker point. Now after this point. As you can see we have a circle, we have a semicircle, the end part. So for drawing that semicircle we will mark the center point of the height that is at 25 millimeter. Now this is the point. Now through this point we will draw one circle, smaller circle of diameter 16 given and the outer semicircle radius given is 16. So this is the outer semicircle, radius is 16, we will draw the semicircle. So as you can see we have taken the proper dimension the semicircle is touching at the vertical line. Next the inner circle the diameter is 16 so radius of 8 millimeter draw the circle. Now after this it will extend till the outer circle. So first I am drawing the light line. And taking this as the reference, I will join this dark. So this is the line of the outer circle. We have made it dark, join this. So you can see it has been joined to the outer circle. So this is the front view. Now as this is the sectional front view, the part where it has been sliced, that part will be hash lines. So for drawing the hash lines we have to take at an angle of 45 degrees. So this part, this part will be hash line. So as you can see only this part is cut. 
it was joined so this part is cut so we have drawn this hash lines other part is open directly so this part this part is totally open so this is the sectional front view we have drawn now moving towards the top view so for drawing the top view we have to take all the projections downward towards the top view so the total height of the top view is 45 mm so we are marking the center point so we'll get the center point so this is the section line from where we have drawn the sectional front view start with drawing the circle the outer circle as we have taken the projections properly we need not need to take the dimensions of the circle we can draw the circle directly i have left a gap as you can see we have a gap of 5 mm so from here 2.5 mm above and 2.5 mm below i'll mark two points so this is the gap and it is touching towards this circle so i've drawn a light line it is touching towards the inner circle so from here drawing dark line towards this point as you can see in the question also it has been cut this cut part is towards the inner circle till the inner circle now drawing the inner circle ka first completing this so inner circle radius is this much as we have taken the projection and we are drawing the circle so this also don't draw the circle complete as it has been attached like this this part has been drawn now moving towards now this distance is 13 mm so from here 13 mm above and from here 13 mm below as from the top view it will look like a rectangle shape so taking this line as a projection line joining till the circle like this and on the bottom side also now we'll start at the end this is line is a bit slant line which we'll see how to draw first we'll draw the end part then we'll join the line so the center line is already there the gap is total is 15 mm so from the center 7.5 mm above and 7.5 mm below then 10 mm above we'll draw a dark line from here also 10 mm line dark so these are the two lines from the top view this part we have drawn then we have a straight line and then we have two semicircles so the straight line distance is 15 mm we have already assumed at the start the inner circle radius is 7.5 and the outer circle radius is 17.5 so drawing the semicircle this is the inner semicircle of 7.5 mm taking this as the reference line joining this till the end on the left side here also joining now from here also we can directly take the lines and draw the semicircle from here draw dark line till this line and from here also and then taking the compass no need to take the dimension on the scale we can directly take this as the curve for drawing the semicircle as you can see we have taken the proper dimensions it has been attached to the projection lines properly now next we have this slant line which will look straight from the top view its thickness is 10 mm so from the center 5 mm above and 5 mm below we'll draw a straight line from here joining till this from here also now finally this line is also slant now we have to draw tangent to the bigger circle it will start from here and attaching like a tangent to the circle join it from here also take this point and where it intersects at the circle like a tangent you have to draw it so this is how it looks from the top view now finally this uh, two circles 
will be hidden from the top view so taking its projection downwards and hidden lines or the hidden part is generally drawn dotted so we are drawing it dotted here the circle center line to draw in the projection also wherever there is a circle you have to draw the circle center line now we are done with the sectional front view and the top view in the question it has been only asked this much but i am drawing the side view also so you will able to know how to draw the side view so for side view drawing the 45 degree angle line taking all the projections from the front and the top view towards the side view so we are drawing this left hand side view which has been drawn on the right side so from here we are viewing first we will see this two rectangular boxes those are this so take its projection properly mark its point height from the front view and width from the top view here also take the projection properly height from the front and width from the top these two rectangular boxes we have to just take the projections properly see the line projection and then draw join this join this so these are the two rectangular boxes first which are visible from the left hand side view after this this semicircle will also look straight from the side view so drawing it straight then this slant line from the side view so the height as you can see its projection from the front view so draw like this it will look straight from the side view only this part will be visible it will look only this part so this is the slant part then this slant line will also look straight from the side view we have not taken its projections so we'll take the projections now take its projection upward so you can see the width from the top view and the height from the front view so width and height so the second width take its projection properly and draw the height join this this is the slant part and finally this whole cylinder will look like a rectangle shape from the side view so join this also join this straight as it is from top to bottom the bigger cylinder is totally covered now next this cut part which we see it is at the back so it will be dotted here as it is hidden so drawing it dotted it is totally from top to bottom the next line width from the top view and the height is from the front view So this part is done. Now, lastly, this part which is totally hidden at the back. So we have to draw it. So this is totally hidden. So this is the circle and the semicircle. So take its projection properly. So the this is the second part. So this again will be dotted. this is the final semicircle at the back side the height this draw the bigger semicircle also hidden in the side view and we are totally done with it don't forget to draw that i have not drawn over here finally making all the lines the circle center line and marking the dimensions properly whatever dimensions are given in the question do that and we are done Thank you for watching do subscribe to my channel if you have any doubts any queries let me know in the comment section you can also connect with me on instagram